I'm assuming you can follow the tab or the standard notation from the beginning of this video well enough that you can learn the notes on your own. So rather than going note by note, we're going to talk about chord shapes, fingerings, and other techniques that'll make this easier to play. If you do need some help reading tab, I've got a video that'll get you up to speed. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Also in the description, you'll find a link for ordering the PDF of this arrangement. I'm playing this chord melody style with a pick but you could easily play this with fingers. First two measures are a C chord, so what we want to try to do is hold down the C chord, let it ring while we're playing the melody note on top. So that takes a little bit of finger independence, but what you can do is hold down fingers two and three of that C chord while you play everything else. Then we have some single notes. Then we have a G chord and a C chord, but the melody is on the second string, so we're only going to strum through the second string. Second string, second string. Next line is exactly the same. Holding down the C chord. Some single notes. And then our G and our C only strumming to the second string. Third line, we have some single notes at the beginning, nothing crazy. And then we have, going up the neck a little bit, I suggest thinking of that in two groups. Uh, this group of three, and then this group, group of three that starts on the fifth fret. Play that slowly for the shift. Once you're comfortable with the shift, then start to speed it up. And then at the last measure of this line, we have double stops. Double stops is when you're playing two strings or two notes at the same time. And you can do that in a few different ways. If you're a finger style player, of course, you just take your fingers and use a separate finger for each string. If you're playing with a pick, you can either strum both strings or you could do hybrid picking, which is what I did in the playthrough. Hybrid picking is when you're using your pick and you're using your fingers. So in this case, I'm using my pick to play the second string. I'm using my middle finger to play the first string. Whichever technique you use, you probably want to practice this measure a little slowly. It's a tricky move. So uh, in that first double stop, first finger is on the first string and second finger is on the second string. We're on fret seven and eight. And then we shift all the way down to third fret. First finger is on the second string now, third fret. And the third finger is on the first string on the fifth fret. And then in that last double stop, we have an open second string while first finger moves to the first string, third fret. So practice this part slowly. And then once you have that down, put it together with the measure before.
Last line starts the same as the first two lines, holding down the C chord. While I play the melody. And then we have more double stops at the end here. Now we've got our first finger on the fifth fret, first string, second finger on the sixth fret, second string, and use whichever technique you like. And then first finger slides down two frets to the third fret. Third finger stays on the uh, second string, fifth fret. Then a couple single notes. Now at the end we have a G chord and a C chord. We're changing the G chord a little bit. We are only playing through the second string and also our melody note is a D. That's the second string third fret. So I'm putting my fourth finger on that D. So we strum to the D and then that last C chord we only strum through the second string because that's our melody note. And that was Deck the Halls, or Deck the Hall, depending on how you like to say it. So have fun with this, and don't forget to check the description to see where you can order the PDF. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more guitar tips and arrangements.